I'm gonna convert this room into an epic gaming room. Let's go. We started off by putting a coffer in the ceiling. Hidden on the top side of the coffer would be grooves where we place the LED lights. We're also planning to put spotlights inside the coffer, which will go all around the room. Early the next morning. It's a new day and things are really starting to move. Check this out. We have light. How are you, Governor? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thanks, I'm excited. Big so you, changes. Big changes, I've just been at the pitch, so I've missed some of this, but let's, uh, let's catch up on where we're up to. So we have now fitted quite a lot of the LED tape, as you can see. And then once we've done that, we just need to position the LED sort of in the best position to give a nice cast of light up onto the ceiling. We created these very cool <laughs> grooves and then the LED strips go in there and then the diffuser goes on top. This is Tom, by the way. Tech, tech genius, he's the guy who's gonna be coding all the different settings on the lights, which I'll show you later. Trust me, they're gonna blow your mind. They gave me a little sample earlier, and I could not believe my eyes. The, the, the room just, oh, you It takes off. Yeah, it takes off, it takes off. <laughs> Snug, isn't it? Don't get the facials in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the facials in. <laughs> so there you go. Now you know the process of how we create these unbelievable LED lights being set into the wall. Madness, Governor. You're the man. We're gonna give you a glimpse. When you wanna see it? Oh, you're starting to see. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Look at that. There's so many different options. It's actually mad. So this LED tape is very advanced. It's called pixel LED, which means every single chip on the tape can be addressed, and it, that's why you get this kind of chasing effect. You've got so much range of control on this. Yeah, that's Tom here working his magic. I'm not going to give away any passwords if I come in. <laughs> oh, you can't see that. You can't see that. <laughs> the next morning. So this is one of the light boxes which you have purchased. We've used these yeah, in the cinema boy. before, so you may recognize these when we get them open. This is what the light box looks like. We've actually got five or six of them, but we can only use four because we thought four will look optimal on the wall. Okay, so this light box is all rigged up and ready to go. So we're gonna get Tom to just turn it on and activate the lights. Boom, there we go. We have light. Now, inside this box are the canvases. So I'm gonna cut this open. And then we're gonna have a look at the canvases. We've got six in there, I believe, and we've got to narrow it down to four. Okay, here we go. The canvases. This is the first time I'm seeing these as well, so I'm excited. All right, what we got first? First up, we have Mario. Oh, Sonic Kings Crash. Who are you? Those are the six, and we need to pick. Yeah. Okay, so what's happening here is Tom is doing a little bit of soldering for these shelving units. We've got light, we've got light. Go on, Tom. So you can kind of see where we're going with this. These lights are fully integrated with all of the lights in the coffee ceiling and in the wall. Hey. Next day. Okay, loads going on today. We have got a bespoke console unit here, which looks incredible. This is where the consoles are gonna go. So the consoles are gonna go in the console. Also, the ceiling light feature. We had the idea to do a bespoke Pac-Man ceiling light feature. And we're gonna backlight it with LED so that the light glows through the eye, around the mouth, and around the edge. the following day. Okay, here we go. So back in the gaming room, let's see where we're at. You can see that the Perspex has arrived. This is gonna be an absolute power feature. Don't worry, it's not blue. This stuff comes off, you can see that. It's gonna be clear and look absolutely pristine. Now I'm in the game, I was on the bench. On the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the Beamer, now I want the bench. Spending all the back, like here I go again. Outside says chirp, now the camera fall. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels on Why you 
you acting different when the camera's on? Why you acting different like your paper long? So the light boxes are all on and they look absolutely phenomenal. Look at that. The next morning. Okay, so big job this. The main desk where the main monitor is gonna go, the central feature of the room. It's a big desk. So there are two boxes. This could take a while. I'm not gonna shy away from it. Let's do it. Two days later. Okay, let's see where we're up to today. So you can see that the light boxes are on the wall. The shelves are in. You might have noticed that there's this black strip of paint on the wall. We got that done so that we can now start laying the games. The games are all here, the games are all ready. I'm super excited to get them on the wall. And then of course we've got the Perspex to go on top just to finish that look. Before we start on the retro wall of fame, let's get onto some accessories. So. We'll start with the OG. We've got some sick accessories. Let's start putting them in. It's Mario. <laughs> Let's get Luigi in. Yes. Oh, look at this. Crash. So we crash. We're going to do one. Crash. I'm in. Neo Cortex. I love this one. Look at this. Look how cool this is. I'm just going to put him here for now. Take these all out of the boxes now. Last but not least, goes on. There's still more to go on, but for now, I'm gonna leave the accessories there and move on to the wall. Okay, now it's time to actually start sticking some games on the wall. So my plan for this is to use double-sided tape. The tricky part is the configuration. You can see that there are so many OG games here. Where do you put what? What gets central prime spots what goes on the edges oh it's going to be so so difficult but to be honest the list is so strong the roster the lineup is so powerful that uh, you can't really get it too wrong love this game i can't even tell you guys okay all right let's start sticking some games on the wall <laughs> games have been fully glued on now so they ain't going anywhere the governor has created these bespoke borders airwave what airwave baby <laughs> so the diffusers have these clear strips on them which once they're placed on the wall you pull them off still done Look at that guys, that looks phenomenal. I've got to show you something as well, so check this out. You see the vinyl here? We've deliberately done it a little bit bigger than the question marks. And the reason for that is the light bulb is in there. And what it does is it gives this glistening effect as you move past it. Can you see that? There you go, the mystery boxes are in. The room's coming together. Next morning. Here we go, the desk's going in. So you might be wondering, why am I sat on the floor? Well, it's to show you guys the ceiling. So you can see the Pac-Man is now lit up. We've got the snake, it's all synced up. So the lights all run into each other from the shelves to the lights on the wall. Even the console is gonna be all synced up together. And there are different options. We've got the governor here on the laptop. 
Can you show us a few different options, please? Yeah, so we've just got a few block colours here. We've got red. Red. Green. Green. Blue. Blue. This one is a light chasing effect with some multicolour features. Light and chasing. Finally, probably from the cinema room, you might remember this kind of colour scheme. Eee, rainbow, look at that. So we've moved down into the garage. This is not finished, by the way. It's a bit messy as well at the moment. There's stuff all over the place, but. Look at this. Oh, don't highlight the no dirt. Respect. The dirt. At least it's charging today. It's charging today. Don't worry, it's charging. The battery nearly died, so I'll put it on charge. Um, we're bringing the Master Chief up. He's obviously one of the most iconic gaming characters, one of my favorites ever. And he belongs in the gaming room. I'm gonna have to replace him with something down here. I've got an idea for that already, but I'm not gonna give that away. This is a gaming room update, not a garage update. So problem is, this is not that easy to carry because the stuff is, it's, it's not fixed on, so it could fall off. So we're gonna do our best and then take this up to the room. What's the way it looks? It's too tall. It's too tall. Look at the box. Twist a little bit. Do you think if you put him on his side and put him through the doorway, he's going to be okay? Just worry on his side, it might start falling apart. You can try it. Alright, so let's rotate round. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. This arm is quite sturdy. The helmet might come off. Alright, ready? You good? Yeah. Oh, the legs down. Legs down. <laughs> this is good. Straight on. Right. I think we keep it the same. Yeah? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, my t-shirt's caught on the handle. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. What's it say? Oh, no. It's just a patch on it, so it's just... Battery that seems to be on. So that slides in here. Is there any damage? Come on, it's Master Chief's <laughs> arm. <laughs> it can survive a little, a little tumble. Alright, come on. I think the helmet should come off though, because that is. I want that chocolate in there. So we're going to need some. Come on. <laughs> Into the room. We made it to the room. Come on. Well, most of him's up. Let's go and get the remaining parts. In comes death number two. So the desks are in. Let's open up one of the monitors. Let's go. Okay, let's unbox the monitor that I've gone for. Take this out. You can see it's a curved monitor. Right, another big power move. This is the rug. So when we see a room, boom, I love that. So when we see a room, we see six planes. We see four walls a ceiling and a floor. Now we've obviously done a madness with the ceiling. You know we're doing a madness with the walls. We were never gonna leave the floor out. So we've got this rug, it's big, it's bespoke. It's done by the Rugs to Riches and they are phenomenal at what they do. And wait till you see it, it's incredible. Here we go. Here comes the big reveal. Hey. Jeez, look at that, it's man like ghost. Okay, next up, you can't have a gaming room without an epic gaming chair. So that's what's in this box right here. And it's time to assemble it. Seventy-two hours later. The wall is so epic. It's dwarfing the monitor. And this is 
ultimately the main focal point of the room, the, the main gaming monitor. So, boom, bought a new one. This is what we're dealing with. We've gone for the curve for that immersive experience. I've done my research and looked into different monitors and this is the one I've picked. So yeah, this is what we're gonna be mounting onto the wall. Really excited to get it on there. It's gonna be a power feature. Out comes the old monitor. New one will be going in momentarily. Go. So check this out. This is the plan with this monitor. I've ordered some Philips Hue lights, which will go on the back, they just stick on the back. And wait for it. Boom! This is a Philips Hue sync box. And this beautiful bit of equipment is how you get the lights to sync up to whatever is on the screen. Okay, here we go. The monitor's going on. There we go, it's on the bracket. Okay, we're making progress, we're making progress. Time to bring in the PS5. Let's go. It's time to unbox the PS5. Big moment. Today, we are assembling the arcade machines. The second arcade machine is in the building. Which one do you guys prefer? The Marvel vs Capcom 2 one or the Pac-Man one? I guess you can decide once they're assembled. Machines are assembled and they look incredible. Look at this. That's what they look like assembled. Ah, oh, I'm so happy with them, man. Look at the colors, they just pop so much. Two days later. What's up guys, new gaming room update. Big one today. You can see that the boys are in the building. We saying, Rick? Good. Governor. What are we doing here? We're just filing down some of the perspex. Yeah, so these are machine cuts, so they're perfect kind of right angles, but where we've got the LED tape in the corners, there's a slight bend radius on that, so we're just, uh, Customization. Slap men radius, customization. You <laughs> get me. Okay, so that's gonna go on. I'm really excited to show you guys that and to see it myself because this looks sick already, but once the Perspex just seals it off, it's gonna look amazing. Uh, also, big new delivery. If you're wondering what's in this box, you're about to find out. These are unbelievable. Check this out, let's open them up. I can't wait to show you guys these new additions. Take off the seal. Here is we are painting this bit of plywood. This is gonna be the backboard for the desk. Another one, let's go. Ooh. Oh, PS5. That's pretty cool. Beautiful. Look at that. What have we got? Yes. Okay, here we go. Final one. What is it going to be? Well, that's iconic, though. Very iconic. Dreamcast. 
Yeah, it's nice. The colors are good on that one as well. Okay, so this is what we've got to work with. This is the lineup, but we have to narrow it down to six. Which ones will make it to the wall? The next day, so this console has been fitted with LED lights, which are configured to be synced in with the whole room. And inside the console will be 10 consoles. to the control pad display. Now this is the plan. We've got a control pad. I'm gonna put it in a Perspex box. We've got 10. These are all spare control pads. And they're gonna be going up here above the TV as part of an epic display. We've got car magnets on the back, which are for phones in cars, but we thought this is gonna work perfectly for what we're trying to do. So you can see that we've drilled a hole in the wall for the cable because it will be that couldn't have been better, really, that whole oh, there. I mean, you judged it to perfection. Oh, pretty perfect. I would say I'm surprised, Dan, but I'll, I'll, just, I'll be being disingenuous. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out guys, we've got this laser here and it is lined up exactly through the center of the TV. And check this out for precision. Look at that, it's going exactly through the X on the Xbox controller. <laughs> might have noticed that we used to have this really cool Call of Duty rug in the middle of the room and now it's not there anymore it's just gone it's just vanished disappeared no explanation well this is the explanation I just thought it was a little bit too small it was kind of dwarfed by the room so got a bigger one let's go I also added one extra feature oh it's heavy very heavy extra feature you can see black border mm -hmm. this one's quite a bit bigger as well <laughs> boom all right let's open it out Fills the room so much more. Today, I am actually building the PC. It's something that I've never done before. I'm super excited. All the boxes are here. And we're about to try and build an absolutely insane PC. Let's go. Okay, first things first. 
the motherboard and we've gone for the ROG Strix X670E. Massive shout out to Geekerot for the recommendation. These guys specialize in PC builds and I trust their judgment. So this is supposed to be a really good motherboard for a PC. Oi, here it is. Look at that. That looks unbelievable. Wow. There is a lot going on there. And we've got this part. Okay, component number one, unboxed. Next component is the Ryzen 7 7800X3D. This is a desktop processor and this is the next component of our PC. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. Next component is the RAM and we've gone for the Corsair Dominator Titanium DDR5. Let's unbox it. Look at that, these components all look so good. <laughs> okay, so here goes the RAM, so flick that. A little switch there. Can we push this in? Boom. Next up, the SSD, and we've gone for the two terabyte crucial Gem 5 T700 Pro. Let's go. Here we go. Look at that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew this. And this should come out. Beautiful. Then we take the SSD, slot it in there. Should clip in. And then, lovely, it fits perfectly. We screw that back on, just like that. Done. Next up, the CPU cooler, and we've gone for the GA2 Trinity SLINF360. Look at this beauty. Let's get it opened up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We've got these pieces. These are cables. Okay, let's get to work. So I've moved the motherboard onto the desk because apparently the carpet causes static, which can actually really affect the motherboard and even break it and stop it from working. So that would be an absolute disaster. So the motherboard's on a hard surface now. So if anyone was watching this in a, in a state of stress, thinking the static, the static, the static, it's, it's safe now. The motherboard's safe, it's on the desk, don't worry. Okay guys, we're gonna move on to the case. This is the case, on for black. That was the look that I wanted with the glass. Oh yes, look at that. That is nice, that is nice, beautiful. So the case comes with this box, which has got nuts and bolts and stuff and some cable ties. And this, this will all be will fit in the motherboard and the other components inside the case. So yeah, let's keep going. Try and work this out as we go. So first things first, remove the top cover. And then you've got to remove the side as well, apparently. Oh. It's not the side, that's part of the side. <laughs> nope. Just removing the front glass panel now, and then this should come apart. Yes. Big moment now. We're gonna put the motherboard into the case. Okay. Yes. The holes are over the holes, and then get this. Take out the screws, we're gonna screw it in. Last screw going into the motherboard. You can see that hole there. The screw, put it in. You don't actually need a screwdriver, which I only realized halfway through. Done. Yeah, that's solid. That is solidly in there. Beautiful. Now it's time to try and fit the cooler. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bracket over here. So if we push that, that releases this. Then we can pull this out and then place this on the back here. We'll use these screws to get that in there like that. That's one. 11 more to do you can see the holes there and then we'll just slot that back into the chassis let's go two hours later okay that's all done now it's time to try and slide this into the chassis here we go make sure the cables are in this one in first boom in yes ah uh, yes we are getting there. It's coming together. Next up, we're gonna attach this part, which has got the coolant liquid in it. Uh, but first, we need to take off this sticky patch and then apply this, which is called thermal paste. Sticky patch off. Now we put this sticky patch on. Squeeze that out. And then we rub it in. The next day. So it's a new day and we're back at it. Today we've got the young king with us. He's here on work experience. Okay. <laughs> uh, question is, how are we gonna power this PC? Well, ooh, the Corsair RM1000E. This is the power unit we've gone for. You approve of that, boy? Let's get it out of the box. Let's go. Wow, loads of cables in here. <laughs> Hello, this is Mr. 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 Mr.
this is the Provoke Brawn and in this video I'm going to be unboxing and showing the setup process for the Corsair RM1000. So before we get the power unit put into the uh, chassis, apparently it's best to, to do the cables before it goes in. So for that we're going to need the final component which is the graphics card. Are you guys ready? The graphics card we've gone for is... Boom! The GeForce RTX 4090. This is by far the most expensive component of this PC, but I've done my research and by the looks of things, this is worth every penny. So this is the one we've gone for. Let's get it out of the box and get it into the chassis. Wow, look at that. This looks crazy. So the power unit is all cabled up and now we're gonna put this into the chassis. So we lift it in and it should just slot in beautifully there you can see and then there's little holes which we will screw these into the holes now it's time to put the graphics card into the motherboard so you can see here we've got these slots these are for graphics cards this is what's gonna slide into those slots so we'll lift it here we'll line it up just ease it in So it comes with this anti-sag magnetic device, which you can adjust and basically it's magnetic. So it's, it sticks to metal and this is obviously on its side. So when we put it upright, we don't want this to, this side to sag down. So that's what we use this for. So we're just gonna apply that now. Lovely. Now that will just provide a solid support to stop this from sagging down once we flip it into its base. You also have this screw on the side just to really fasten it in. So the combination of the screw and the, the magnet support is going to be absolutely solid, beautiful. So we're pretty much there. Now we're just putting the chassis back together. Yes. Okay guys, the PC is finally built. As you can see, it's there under the desk and it's time to actually try and power it on. This is a big moment. Oh, imagine doing all that work and it doesn't even come on. Now that would be a disaster. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Hey, look at that. We've got light. Oh, it looks so sick. We need the we need the coolant pump to come on. Come on, boot up, please. Come on. Come on. Anytime now. Yes, look at that. Look at, oh, it's gone, it's gone back off. Please tell me it's just booting up. Yeah. We have a PC built, guys. Boom! So that's it, guys. It is complete. I'm really, really happy with it. I'll be honest, I didn't really know what I was doing, but we just dive in head first, learn on the job, and this is the outcome we finally got there in the end there's a couple of things i want to show you before this video ends the first one is all of these rgb colors are fully customizable so if we go to this l connect 3 then we get this on the screen if we click on lighting effects we get all these different options and we can pick any one we want i'll just pick one at random let's go with warning then we click apply to all and you can see the rgb settings have completely changed let's try another one just quickly before we end this video let's go breathing apply to all this is the breathing effect where it sort of like goes off and then comes back on and all of the colors are fully customizable we even got the full spectrum wheel I click apply to all and then now you see we've got so we've got purple green blue white go down here and you can see purple green blue and white and it's with the breathing effect i personally love the rainbow so we click on that click apply to all go back down here you can see ooh, it's that beautiful rainbow effect love it but i really wanted to show you guys that because all of these rgb colors in this pc are fully customizable with the l connect 3 software so so cool and the same goes for all of the equipment on the desk so this is all razor you can see the logo there that's actually a different software so this is the razor sign up software you can see all of the equipment is loaded up into this so that we can click on any so say we click on the keyboard and we go to lighting and then we have these options so at the moment it's on wave Let's click fire. You can see now it's changed. So the mat is set on this 
it's a uh, rainbow wave, but the keyboard is different. And there's so, oh, everything's customizable. I'll show you some more of the different options. So you've got electric current here. Let's click apply to all. This is the electric current option. Let's try a different one. Let's go with Tide. Let's see what this does. Boom, so this is Tide. And it shows it on the screen what it does. So you can actually see it on the screen as well. Scan, let's see what this does. Apply to all, that's the scan effect. <laughs> So you can see we've got full control. It's fully customizable. So, so cool. Really impressive. And you can also, you can control everything. It's all in here. I need to figure out my way around it properly. But yeah, amazing bit of kit, amazing bit of software. Some of you also might have noticed that we upgraded the mouse mat. In some of the um, shots, there was a smaller mouse mat. I thought, nah, no, let's get a bigger one. It looks better. There's more space to move the mouse around on. And uh, yeah, it just looks cleaner. Love it. If you spotted that, you've got a sharp eye we did upgrade the mouse map during this video. Another really sick thing that we can do with this Razer Synapse app is we can sync all of our equipment to each other so that the RGB is kind of connected through all the devices. Really, really cool, beautiful touch that they've added there. And you can see that we've got the RGB rainbow underneath the speakers, same on the mat, same on the mouse. Even the mouse has got a light in it doing the same thing. Keyboard and the other speaker. Two days later. So today we are gonna try and complete the room. We've got these buttons. This is one of the finishing touches that we always leave till last. And these buttons are gonna go in here. The governor's gonna put them in right now. Let's do it. Boom. <laughs> the lights are going mad if you do this. There it is. And then the final bit of casing goes on there. Look at that. Beautiful. Check this out, guys. New addition to the gaming room. Can you guess what it is? Boom! An arcade light display. And you can guess where that's gonna go. Right up here. We've already prepped it. Everything's ready to go. And today, this sign will go on that wall above the machines. There we go. So guys, the room is nearly done. As you can see, we are nearly there. Just a few finishing touches now, but it's time to say goodbye to Tom. Tom, my man, I just want to say on camera, thank you so much for all your hard work. You've absolutely smashed it. You guys can see, look at the room, look at the, how advanced the lighting system is. That's all down to this man and his company, Illuminate. Honestly, mate, it's been incredible seeing your work and what thank you've you achieved here. You literally brought the vision to life, man. Happy with it? Yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah. So if you need your lighting done, call on Tom at Illuminate. So the arcade machines are up and running. I wanted to quickly show you them before the video ends. Uh, but check this out. This, this game's actually running. He's getting battered. I can't play with one hand. I'll struggle. I'll, I'll, do, I'll, I'll do something though. You ain't, you ain't perfect in me, bro. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> hey, come on, come on. <laughs> You know what's super cool about this is you've got volume here. So if I, you can turn it up. The sound is sick. Boom! And let me just turn this down. You can also choose between loads of different games. So it's not just one game. The machine comes with loads of different ones. I think it's eight games on this one. And there are ways to get even more games. And then the same with Pac-Man. So you've got Pac-Man here. You can see there you've got loads of different game options which you can go through and choose. Loads of different versions of Pac-Man. Absolutely unbelievable. So let's just uh, let's just select this one. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand. We don't worry about me though. So the hue sync is all set up and you can see that the colours behind the monitor are synced up to whatever's on the screen which is so, so cool. Ah, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. I've got the speakers here. Make sure I can turn the volume up here. Mm, they go pretty loud, but I don't want to get a copyright strike, so I'll turn that down. It is absolutely class, and the super wide curved screen. Oh, I cannot wait to play games on this monitor, man. I've never actually played games on an ultra-wide monitor like this, so 
I'm really excited for that. So guys, we finally made it to the final day. Everything is done. The room is complete. I have to say a massive thank you to the governor. Dan, you are the man, honestly. From the cinema room to this room, you've done it again. Thanks, man. It's been a pleasure. And thanks for trusting us with this room, man. It's been epic. Come on, man. You, I know you don't miss. This man doesn't miss. He doesn't miss. But honestly, this room is absolutely spectacular. I know you've got to get off to a very well-known person's house, which I cannot say. My lips are sealed. <laughs> it's top, top secret. This is what this guy does. Uh, but Dan, again, thank thanks, you so man. much. And uh, maybe I'll see you on the next project. Come on, you've still got more rooms in the house. I've still got, I've got a couple more. I'm running out, I'm running out. <laughs> so that's it for this video, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this process. I tried my best to document every step of the way so that you guys can see exactly how this room went from a completely empty room to this unbelievable gaming room. And you know, it may or may not be one of the world's best gaming rooms, but that stuff doesn't really matter. The main thing is that you create a space that is meaningful to you, and that's what we've done here. I'm really, really happy with it. It's got so many things in this room, like if we look at these games, these are games that I used to play as a child, hours and hours and hours. So every time I look at them, I get that warm, fuzzy, nostalgic feeling, man. Guys, as always, thank you so much for your continued love and support. I really appreciate all you guys. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. There's more bangers coming and best believe you can expect some epic gaming content coming soon. In fact, now that we've got the complete setup, let me know in the comment section below if you think we should start a gaming channel. Guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Oi, Crash Bandicoot. Okay, the nostalgia. Oh. Mm. Oh, the sound, the sound. The sound of childhood. <laughs> <laughs> oh got tingles all over my body. <laughs> uh, let's turn it up, let's turn it up, let's turn it up. Where is, yeah. I'll get the full immersive experience. Let me plug this in as well, control pad. Ooh! <laughs> Who remembers this? Ah, oh, it's just epic. Oh, this was my childhood, man. This was my childhood. Mm. <laughs> oh, yes. 
start game. All right. I'm gonna try and take on a level. Here we go. Bring it on. See if I've still got it. <laughs> See if I've still got what it takes. All right, <laughs> let's go. Oh yes, I'll, I'll take it. See that, bro. Oh, the Ubuga. Hey, Ubuga. Oh, I still got it. All right, bro. Take the apple. Double jump. Can I complete the level? Double, 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 double. Oh! Come on. Let's go. Checkpoint. Give me the. Oh. See you later. See you later. Oh yes, I've gone, I've gone right! No! Oh. What a game though, guys, what a game! Oh.